and we are about the very scientific test beginning with this jar from pitted green olives and that 2.5 kg weight what you're gonna do is break the jar I would have never expected this jar is so strong okay make it Okay. We're gonna also use those two meters. One is the solar power meter and the other one is transmission meter. Okay, so what is that solar power meter exactly? And you've also got the other unit, the watts, which is the entropy. In simple words, that just measures the power that comes from the sun and how much power passes through a specific surface, which in our case is the glass. So this is the Lexus glass and it's quite good. However, now it's a bit later in the day and I wouldn't expect to be too high. Okay, so let's get to where the car is and what we're gonna do is put this glass right over here let's see let's put it this way so the VLT measured is measure the BTUs again we're gonna have it in the same angle that it's the car window that's the BTUs and here we have let's see what the measurements on the car are so we're gonna take the other one as well So 410. We're having it. Actually, let me point. Let me point it exactly the same way. Let me point it exactly the same way as we had it when we used the uh, glass. These are the BTUs. Okay, and now we are going to measure the visible light transmission. Uh, uh, let's see, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up. Let me try and turn it the other way. Okay, so I'm going to actually put it down, hold it. That's what it says 77.4. 81.5 78.9 okay let's now have it this way let's see. and that's what it shows now I, to be fair, was quite surprised to see those results. The clear glass is not with, it's not even near 100% of visible light transmittance. It was lower. And the next thing is that the energy passing through the car window, uh, coming from the sun, passing through the car window and getting into the car is about half 
of what it was through the clear glass. So there must be some film. And the other reason that makes me think that they have installed some type of film inside the glass is that the infrared and the UV blockage of the car windows was about eight times higher compared to that on the clear glass then the visible light transmittance was about 77 78 percent so it's almost to what it is allowed which is 70 percent and probably if i put some uh, 70 percent film on the glass i'm gonna be just about uh lego and what i wanted to do next is to see what are gonna be the results if i did the same test on my girlfriend's car just to see if her windows had some type of factory clear tint and what are going to be the uv blockage what is going to be the infrared blockage and the power passing through the window so that is going to be the next video and also now i have to decide what type of tint i'm going to put on my car whether i'm going to go for style practicality is it going to be something with infrared blockage even if I have already infrared blockage on my windows, whether it's going to be like ceramic or what is going to be, how dark is going to be. Yeah, there is a lots of things to consider, but that is something that's going to come up next. All right. Bye for now. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share.